Hi everyone, this is Karen from the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. In this video, we're going to be talking about a historic house in Winmore. The John Welsh House, also known as Rowla, was originally on land that uh, had at one point been owned by Pennsylvania's first female governor, Hannah Calhill Penn. At the age of 25, Hannah married William Penn, who at that point was 52, and she was his second wife. Around 1712, uh, William had suffered several strokes, and he was not in a mentally good place to be able to effectively lead what was then the colony of Pennsylvania. So this responsibility fell onto his wife, Hannah. She effectively led the colony while he was unwell up until his death in 1718. And she actually continued to run the colony even after his death. She would run the colony uh, through her death in 1726. During her time as the governor to the colony of Pennsylvania, she not only settled the debt that had been created by her husband, but she also settled a border dispute with Maryland. Sometime between 1700 and 1712, Hannah owned a farmhouse which is no longer standing, uh, but was somewhere on the property where the John Welsh house stands to this day in 2023. It's thought that Hannah's father uh, had purchased this land at the time and had asked Hannah to manage it. Fast forwarding uh, to a time after Hannah Calhill Penn had owned this property the house that is currently standing on the property to this day in 2023 was built in 1876. The original rooms were designed by James C. Sidney and was built as a summer residence for William Platt. Sometime between 1867 and 1869, the home was purchased by John Welsh. John Welsh was a very influential local leader and philanthropist. He is mostly well known for his vital role in the 1876 Centennial Exhibition. This uh, exhibition essentially became the first World's Fair in the U.S. John Welsh owned this residence in Winmore from about 1867-69 uh, up until his death in 1886. At that time, the property was purchased by Nicholas Biddle. It quickly changed hands again in that same year, 1886, when it was bought by Major General Caldwaller Colden Washburn. It was purchased as a wedding gift for his daughter, Jeanette, and his son-in-law, Albert Warren Kelsey. It was this couple that changed the name of the house to a Finnish phrase, Raula, which essentially means a peaceful place. In 1892, an extension was added on the back wing, and it was designed by Louis C. Hickman. In 1962, J. Cook purchases Rowla from Kelsey's grandson, Joseph Warren Darling. From 1987 to 1997, a developer, Elliot Krems, owns the property, and it's at that point a residential treatment facility known as Westmead. During this time in 1990, this site was added to the National Register of Historic Places. By 1997, Keystone Hospice uh, leased the property and established what was known as the Keystone House, a first freestanding residential hospice in southeastern Pennsylvania. 
in 2004. Uh, the same Keystone Hospice purchased the property and they currently own it to this day in 2023. If you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when a new video is released. The Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania is a private nonprofit library and museum located in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We rely on the support from the community, our members, volunteers, and viewers like you. Your support allows us to continue making these videos and make history fun and accessible to the public. If you would like to donate so we can continue making these videos, you may do so by clicking in the link in the description section below. This will take you to our main website. Thank you so much for your support and we look forward to seeing you in a future video.